Hey family, last couple of days, didn't really get a chance to cook nothing really good. Had something in mind for Sunday dinner, but that didn't work out. So tonight, gonna make one of my oldest daughter's favorite things. Hi, my name is T. I am not a chef. Actually, I'm a truck driver. And I don't drive food trucks, I drive a semi. What I'm about to do is show you how to do what I do on my truck. Welcome to your favorite new food show, Big Taste in a Small Space with me, T. My older daughter, Joy, loves some duck. So we have to prep the duck. First, you're gonna score the duck. Scoring the duck means that you're just gonna cut some, some slats in the skin. Don't go all the way down to the meat, but you're gonna go just at the meat. So score it one way, turn it around, score it the second way. So it has those little hash lines on the meat. It's going to help to render the fat out, which means help to melt the fat so it cooks evenly, helps you get that nice, juicy, crispy skin, and the duck stays moist and succulent. You're going to do most of your cooking on that side. So then you add some salt. This time I'm using white pepper because I want that skin to stay nice and curly white. There you go. Some white pepper. And that's it on the skin side. Turn it over and you make sure that salt and pepper gets everywhere, all the way down to the flesh. Then we're gonna go in and put some more salt on the flesh side, some more white pepper. And this time we're gonna use a little bit of uh, Chinese five spice. Make sure that's seasoned all over the duck. And after that, you're gonna put that duck in a cold pan. Make sure your cast iron has not been turned on. Lay it down. And I'm gonna turn my, my burner up to about 275. You know me, I like low and slow. My friends say my voice is low and my mind is slow. Sometimes the meat will curl up, so you just wanna Press it down a little bit, not too hard. You just want to make sure the skin gets contact with that cast iron. That's how it crisps up. I also like to you know, move that uh, fat that's collected around. Make sure it gets to the sides of the meat. You're gonna do 90% of your cooking on the skin side. And while that's working, I'm gonna prep some potatoes. If you never had potatoes cooked in duck fat, ooh, you're in for a treat. And salt. Mm. Use some black pepper for this. I'm gonna turn my duck over. That skin is going to be nice and crisp. You can have some stuff to the pan. And after I turn it over, I'm going to put my potatoes in that same fat. I said the flesh side of the duck is not going to be there very long.
on the flesh side of the duck just for about two minutes. That's it. Just like before, you make sure and let duck fat gets everywhere. And after about two minutes in the pan, take your duck out. Let it rest. Just let it sit on the side and chill while your potatoes cook. You can even turn your fire up some now. Now just sit your duck on the side for about five minutes and let it rest while your potatoes cook. And soon you will have this beautiful meal. So I sliced up my duck, sat it on top of some sweet and hot sauce. Like I said, I like my food like I like my women. Hot and sweet. Otherwise, it just ain't no fun. Salt my potatoes as soon as they come out the pan. Make a quick salad and that's dinner. And for the record, that's a dinner my daughter would fight me for. And I would probably lose. So try it out. Crispy skinned duck, potatoes cooked in duck fat, which is lovely, and a quick salad. Any monkey with a stick and a hot rock could do that, because I did. <laughs> Try it out. Let me know what you think. <laughs>